quick fix for the axolotls. I decided it was a little too early for sand. Yeah, that one did poop, but uh, I'm just going to wait till they're significantly bigger and I don't have to worry about it. This is why I say if you're serious about fish keeping, you absolutely need some of these Sterilite tubs. I spent $20 on this 50 gallon tote and I don't have to worry about tubbing them up for a while and draining that 55 and trying to scoop the sand out. Boom, I just um, completely moved them over to here and you know maybe I'll move my blue egg phoenixes into the 55 and people say well they bow. Well this is what I do. I leave the lid on and I just use my Dremel tool and I cut a flap. I can get in here to feed it, get in here to clean it, get in here, you know, for whatever. And they won't bow if you leave the lids on them. And I can run the air hose through there. And, you know, it's not crystal clear like glass, but then I normally keep ponds anyways. So, uh, you know, maybe I'll get them some bigger river rock that I know they can't eat and put them in here, put that in here so they have something to walk around on. But... Uh, I'm just going to move them into here and I'll deal with uh, whatever I decide with the 55 later. So, yes, uh, if you have to, if you have a big tank and you need to quarantine one fish that's sick, if you get rescues that you need to quarantine like I do, or, you know, you just don't have the money to spend, I, I keep insisting, you know, people say, well, I can only get a 10 gallon, I can only afford a 10 gallon right now. For pretty much the cost of a 10 gallon tank with a lid, you could have a 50 gallon tote that works just as well, if not better, and gives them more room. And, you know, and when you don't need it, then you can just break it down, double stack them, stick them in a the closet. So, my axolotls are going to be here. I drained my 165, threw that outside for now. I'll deal with that later. Uh, and these babies are just going to have to cohabitate. I'll have to make sure I feed them extra well so they don't pick at each other. Although I, I haven't seen them. Uh, I think the five week olds are big enough that they don't, they don't recognize them as, as food. So hopefully I'm safe there. Yeah. Not the worst week in the fish room. I only flooded it by a little bit. Uh, yeah.